What's up, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Photography, the show that I'll teach you how to get awesome photos on the cheap. And today, what we're going to do is show you how you can get all the software that you will ever need to manage, edit, and even publish your photos online. We're going to be doing this through Adobe's Creative Cloud, and it's only going to cost you about 50 bucks. Be a little bit cheaper if you're a student. If you're a student, it's only going to be about 30 bucks. So, it pays to stay in school. <laughs> So for those of you who don't know what Adobe's Creative Cloud is, it's essentially Adobe's subscription-based membership. So for 50 bucks a month, you'll have access to all of their programs, okay? Right off the bat, you'll have all the major players. You'll have Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, Lightroom, InDesign, After Effects, Premiere, all these crazy programs, okay? And it's only for 50 bucks a month. Normally, you'll be paying $1,000 per each program just about, so it's a huge steal doing it through the Creative Cloud. Now, on top of that, there are some other programs that you might have never even heard of that you still have access to, such as Adobe Muse, Adobe Story, and they even have something on there called ProSite. And what that is, it's a simple website builder, and we're going to actually take a look at how to use that later on in this episode. So, for this episode, what we're going to do is show you guys my entire workflow, okay? We're gonna show you how I import my images, how I edit them, retouch them, and even how I'm gonna end up publishing them online. And the best part is we're gonna do this all in about like 10 minutes because I hate really long episodes. So let's just jump right into Lightroom and show you guys how I import my photos. All right, so the first app that we're gonna be taking a look at is Adobe Lightroom. And I always go to this program first whenever I'm working with photos because it just makes it really easy to import and organize all my photo shoots. And on top of that, it has all these tools to make crazy cool edits and adjustments to your photos. So let's start off where everyone's gonna be starting off. And that's by taking the card outside of your camera and by importing your photos in through Lightroom. Into your computer through Lightroom. Let's do that. Once you insert your card, Lightroom will automatically see it and prompt you to import your images. Here you could select all your photos or just select a few that you want to import. Now inside of Lightroom, you'll be able to make just about all the photo adjustments that you need to, and you're going to do this through its develop module. So I could spend hours going over the different types of effects and adjustments that you can make inside of Lightroom, but just as a simple example, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna turn this color image into a black and white image and still have full control over its color balance. All you have to do is make sure that you're in the develop module and then click where it says B&W on the right side. You'll instantly see your image change to black and white, and the best part is that you have full control over these color sliders below it. So I'm just going to play around with these sliders a bit so that I could fine tune this image and really make it stand out and pop just the way I want it to. Alright, so you guys just saw how we were able to get a lot done all inside of Lightroom. But this episode isn't just about Lightroom, it's the entire Creative Cloud. So let's take a look at how we're going to take our images from Lightroom and put them inside of Photoshop so that we can further enhance them. <laughs> So now to switch it up a bit, for this example I'm going to be using a portrait shot of my buddy Dan Dandy Action Man. And just to embarrass him a bit, I'm not going to be using this nice image that I shot of him, but rather this one instead. So what we're going to do is bring this inside of Photoshop so that I could touch up his face and remove all those blemishes really quick. And I could do this by right clicking on the image and then choose Edit In and select Photoshop. Now, once inside of Photoshop, I notice that I'm actually catching the edge of my backdrop in this image. You can see that in the top right. And all I'm going to do to get rid of that is I'm just going to crop this. So let's grab our crop tool and then just bring in the edge a bit. Now, let's do what we set out to do and get all these blemishes removed. The fastest way to do this is to select the Spot Healing Brush tool. All I have to do is paint over the blemishes I want removed and magically they're all gone. And it's not really magic that's getting rid of all of this, but it's actually rather math. And what this brush actually does is it samples points around where you paint and it fills in the painted area based off of that information. But it works so well, you might as well just call it magic. So our photo is looking pretty good now. We could just save it out and be done with it. So we just quickly went over how you could import, edit, and uh, touch up all your photos. Now on top of that, let's take a look at how we could actually publish those photos online for everyone to see. 
So a lot of people don't know this, but when you sign up for the Creative Cloud, you also get a free pro site through Behance. And this will allow you to create an easy to manage portfolio site that you could use to showcase all of your work on. Now I'm not gonna go into how to set everything up, but once you've uploaded your projects, you could start working on your pro site. And they have a bunch of templates that you could use right off the bat, but these templates are fully editable, so you can make your site looking just the way you really want it to. So for example, my pro site is using the geometric theme, but instead of having a bunch of little squares for my galleries, I made it into full width rectangles because that's just the way I wanted it to look. And I'll show you right now exactly how easy it is to do that using ProSite. All I had to do was go into design, select covers, and then go to cover image size. Now in here, you'll see that these uh, slider controls pop up and I could just move them around and make my um, you know, portfolio thumbnails exactly the length and width that I want them to be. So it's pretty powerful, pretty cool, and very easy to do. So now there's a lot more to ProSite than I could talk about right now, but just to go over some of like the major features on it, you know, you could add your own custom pages to it, you could add sharing options to your galleries, you could set up your own favicon, you could have your own custom domain, which is a huge biggie. And um, another really cool thing that you could do is you could set up your images for sale so that when people are reviewing all of your work, they have the option to purchase it and you could actually make some money off of this pro site. And it's super easy and super quick to set all this up. And once again, it comes free with your Creative Cloud membership. So there's really no reason not to use this to showcase your work. All right, so we just went over how you could manage, edit, and even publish all of your photos for only 50 bucks, all thanks to Adobe's Creative Cloud. Now in our next episode, we're actually gonna be diving back to the hardware side of things and heading outside to show you guys affordable ways to travel with all of your camera equipment because Having everything inside of your pants really weighs you down and it gets annoying really, really fast. So don't forget to subscribe so that you can see that episode as soon as it airs. And if you want to learn how you can actually push your photos even further inside of Lightroom, check out our Lightroom presets episode of Pimping Pixels. In that episode, we go over how you can get free presets for Adobe Lightroom that will help you turn your images from looking all bland and boring to just looking awesome and amazing all with one click. So definitely go check out that episode so you can learn more Lightroom awesomeness and well, see you guys next time. What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Photography, the only show that, <laughs> the only show that will teach you the tips, tricks, and techniques that you need to become a pro. No, it's not what it is. It's photos on the cheap. Uh, mm, excuse me. <laughs> Over here, a little bit, a little bit, yeah. And yes, I know this is an old camera. I'm using my newer one. This is just for show, okay? That's all. It looks dynamic, or it looks dramatic pulling the card out and be like, oh, this is what we're doing. Please, compact flash. You know this is an old camera. You know this is an old Canon camera because I'm using compact flash on it, okay? What is this? This is the Rebel XT. I think this is like their first Rebel or something like that. So yeah. Oldie but a goodie.